Hey everyone, GamerRise009 here. <sighs> Sleepless night, and you know, getting back to this. And you can see that I haven't played since 26. Yes, uh, you'll see that when the next time I play, it's probably like going to be almost September, October, somewhere around there. Depending on how many I record, because I can't sleep tonight for some reason. So I thought, go ahead, record a video. And you're looking at the times right, like this was like done four in the morning for the past couple, those past couple days or what? Alright, anyway, back to, uh, so, going to the next person, not Ski, not Natsuki, but everybody kind of got that wrong, but it's okay, whatever. I'm not gonna be like, you guys don't know how to, well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. And again, if this one was as good as your last one, it would be I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care of who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. That's sad, Natsuki. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Oh. Natsuki is second best girl and Yuri's third and... Sorry, Monica just doesn't count in the top three. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Alright. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. What the... I can think... Uh, okay, what the f- Damn. Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Did you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of anxiety right now and like that. Honestly, um... And then, oh god, that should be obvious by now. You just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Dan, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me! Oh god, Jesus fucking Christ! What the? Oh, what? It can't be the end, really. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> like I was trying to say before, I kind of like the face and everything in Jesus Christ. Ugh. One of the things I have issues with is anxiety. And when something freaks me out and everything, my anxiety raises high. So my anxiety levels have jumped from like what was three earlier to like freaking 50 something. So if it goes any higher than that, I don't know, I swear to god. Okay, well, Monica's last. The evil maniacal bitch. Okay, I will continue. Hi again, Dan. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote today? For today? Sure, here you go. I gave my poem to Monica. Alright. Great job, Dan. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, uh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Right that's full of imagery and symbolism? Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head, that's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she used to be indulged like that. She must really starve for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly, like earlier. 
I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I can't remember Yuri's voice. Oh my god, see what I mean? I'm, and I'm tired. I'm like trying to work through the tiredness because I'm just like, you know, I could sleep earlier and I meant to record sooner. Anyways, okay. I'm back. I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? Uh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you're, you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. But anyways, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. Okay. The colors. They won't bright. They won't bright. Be beautiful color. Okay, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and this cacophony of meaningless noise. Noise that won't stop. Violent grating of... I don't know what that is. So, uh, king... I don't... Seeing concentrated. Okay, now this is kind of getting weird. Chalkboard on a table, turntable. Like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. Oh god. Endless poem of meaningless. So it could be like, load me, delete her. What the? Yeah, I, I remember Monica being something of the antagonist or whatever, but. Okay, Jesus. Wait, Mo Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, Monica. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes, you guys are seeing my hand. Fuck you, Monica. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Uh... Was, was this really in the game? I, I don't remember. Okay, you never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Okay. Thanks for listening. Okay, well... Yuri, okay. I guess I was writing to Yuri, I don't know. I've been waiting for this. Oh, no. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written today for today. I remember Yuri's voice being kind of deeper and the fact that kind of more elegant or eloquent or something like that. Okay. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Uh, I, I, uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but it doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Uh, that came out a little awkward. Uh, let's move on. Here's a poem I wrote. You didn't have, you don't have to like it or anything. Wheel. I wrote... Oh god, please, I'm, I'm scared to click off of this when I'm done. Okay. A rotating wheel, turning on an axle, grinding, bolt-headed, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, what the heck, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope. A uh, torn harness, parabolic gearbox, spending universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer... Written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disapproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, fast 40, not, not 40, 40 gears and a ticking clock, 40, uh, sorry, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second. A bullheaded holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood rain and clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolthead. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood. Breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time. Breathing pa prayer. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. Uh, uh, 
It doesn't really matter what it's about. Yes, it doesn't matter. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. What the hell? Uh, that's, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way it writes, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Uh, uh I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You could keep the poem, though. Uh, uh, you're okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, what the? Please, no fucking laughing when the fact that my lighting probably is really crappy right now and the fact that it's pretty. Or, Sayori! Oh my god, my sweet Sayori. Fuck. Oh my god, it's my fucking mouse. Oh god. Okay, everyone. Jesus Christ, it's gone up to like 70 something. My anxiety. I'm gonna try to do my best to keep recording for another 17 minutes. Oh, fucking A. God, kill me now. Not really. I don't want to die. I'm seriously. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something. Oh, thank God. The say already. Mouse went away. We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we could put together anything and just uh, good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Dan joined. I was starting with some club act and we started with some club activities. But isn't it time for us to become complacent? We still have only four members, and the festival is our only real chance of finding more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at the right, right way. Don't you want to share your passion as, with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you will never want to leave. Okay. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. Wow, she got a little loud there. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Dan? Uh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Dan to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never talked until Dan joined. As for me, I, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Dan is even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Oh no, Monica seems distressed, but she's gonna kill them. She's gonna kill them. I know she is. I can't remember which one she kills. I I, I know they're... Or delete or whatever the nonsense. Okay, whatever. Continue. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Dan want to get more members too. Right? I don't know about, know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much as enthusiasm, enthusiasm well, tongue tied, as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. So if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Dan, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? 
I just spoke my mind. Is it a crap? Sorry, I'm gonna make her sound like Monica now. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club that like that. You don't understand. You don't understand at all. I just, I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't. There aren't many of the other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. She's not taking anything away. No, Dan. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least a little bit per time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about, oh God, who cares about the obnoxious, obnoxious spread? Oh my God, it's gone up to 80 something. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Okay, okay, Yuri. Oh, God! I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and the decision that's right for You can probably see my hand trembling here. I'm, I'm just showing you. Oh, Jesus. I might need to take a break from this. But, yeah. But what about you, Dan? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. I'm sorry, why am I starting to talk high like Natsuki now? Oh my god. Because I'm thinking not about Natsuki now. That's what will end up making the literature clubs a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change of members' identity, the club as a whole will change too. I don't... Oh my god, did, did I just see blood trickle down her eye? I don't freaking know. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to keep help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we all could talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri? Eh? Um, you know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Dan? Um, please don't take this the wrong y way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Dan before we leave, just to see what he thinks of the time here and all that. It's important for me to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two, two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Dan, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Yes, you are Oh, God, the music stopped. Whew, heartbeat. Come on, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. And I really care about you. Oh, God. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is everything, and you're being a little bit, you know. Ah, uh, sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something's weird. There's just some things, some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things that 
I know only you can understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No, no. Okay. I can't remember if I wrote for Yuri or for Natsuki. I think I wrote for Yuri because the fact that when I'm going to do some video with the, um, when I replay it again, which I will play doing Natsuki's route and then replay it again through Yuri's route, but the fact that I'm pretty sure it's all the same when you play the second half again or something and all that. Anyways, let's get to the poem and everything, so... Uh, I think Broken would be Yuri. Yep. Um, death. Yep. Existence. Uncanny. After Image. I remember one of her poems being that. Philosophy. I think she's lustful. Yep, she's lustful. Dirty lust. Oh, the numbers. The numbers. What's going on with the numbers? Um. Whew. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. I can do this. I can do this. I've been playing for 20 some minutes. I can finish this up at least, at least do that and stuff. And maybe I should get some sleep because I think maybe the lack of sleep is messing with my head a little bit too. I'm sorry, everyone, in advance for this, but yeah. Um, don't worry, I'll try to get this within the next couple days because I think I'm close to the end, I think. Um, so, determination? Yeah. Um, question? I'm doing pretty good. I, I'm, I, I figured out like how they work and everything in a way like I remembered Sayori being sort of this like well that she's the childhood friend Yuri being an intellectual and Natsuki being cute of course so yeah but the fact that you know I remember them so well because they're all you know the top three best girls well Monica is in the last thing so anyways variants vivid yes um Frightening. Whoa! Another Yuri popped up. What the hell? Uh. Dazzle. Oh, shit, that's not ski. Um. Agonizing. There's another Yuri there. I, I, I'm not complaining too much, but. Yeah. Vivacious. Disorientation. Melancholy. Intellectual. I don't know how many I've done. Has anybody been keeping count? Unrequited. Explode. Okay, that was a get lucky guess. Hi, Dan. Oh my god. Okay, Yuri has that unusual look on her face. I, I remembered something like that. A little bit. I'm starting to remember some things. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to... Huh? Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look. Look. I mean, look, I did something thinking yesterday, about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know that this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you just go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? What the hell? What the? Oh, oh shh. Jesus Christ, fuck. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah, uh, you must have a lot of, you must have, <clears throat> sorry, you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work harder for the festival too. Anyway, Dan, 
What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Dan is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? Oh, Lord. She's got, she's got the crazy the crazy eyes. How I Met Your Mother, yes, the crazy eyes. And if you like, you like the show, great. If not, check it out. It's a good show. Okay, anyways. I suppose I was just... Oh, I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make my reading here time here any better is a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches the electric kettle. I'm going, to pl I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri, uh, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Well, you know what they say about girl with long legs, huh? <laughs> Not really, there's no thing, I was just joking, okay. I'm a little nervous, okay, I'm just... Oh, my heart's been kind of rough. Okay, I'm going to be ending this soon, so... Or not ending the, the playlist, but ending this video soon. Okay. Okay. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Uh, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher and hang Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that, that this time. She's just filling up her the water pitcher with to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Okay, I'm gonna save here because yeah, I'm, I don't think I can do any more right now for the time being. So, so save. Yep, there we go. Thursday, September 19th at 1:26 in the morning. I just finished this. So, all right. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, like, share this video, and if you. Um, you know, if you want to know notifications, I'm going to be trying to do videos more often, and if anything, whether or not, as a recent, or the fact that when you watch this video, I will be doing, I will start, or will be doing Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke, yes. I think some of you have been asking for that quite a while, which I try to keep posting in the comments, I try to comment as soon as I see them, I, I don't really get to keep track of these things as easy as I want to. Alright, anyways, this is GamerRiser09 signing off.